Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coolum video and another plug side chat. EVgo just recently announced a partnership with Chevron where they're going to be building about a dozen chargers across five different sites. One of them is already open in Menlo Park. And according to the press release, these are 50 to 100 kilowatt chargers that they're going to be installing. I wanted to talk a little bit more about this, not about the specifics of EVgo's implementation, but just more about the concept of putting electric vehicle chargers at gas stations and essentially converting gas stations over eventually to electric vehicle fueling centers. Now, I've used a number of chargers at this point that are located at gas stations. And in fact, I've seen a whole lot more that are being installed at gas stations. So uh, it's not exclusive to EVgo. ChargePoint is installing them. Electrify America is installing them. Gas stations seem to be a fairly ideal location for chargers just in terms of the nature of the business, right? It's designed to have people come and fuel and provide roadside automobile-based services, vacuum cleaners, trash cans, squeegees, uh, bathrooms and things that you can access and of course snacks for the road drinks those sorts of things they really fit well with the gasoline model of stopping for five minutes to fuel and spending another five to ten minutes to do all of the other things that you need to do while you're on the road uh, they're easy to drive into they're easy to drive out of they're usually located near freeways, but not always. And I think that's where I want to say we need to use some caution because like I said, EVgo, they already installed one of these at a Chevron in Menlo Park, but that's a urban area. And it's not where, in my opinion, gas stations shine for commuters, which is more along intercity corridors in freeways and interstates that are basically in very rural areas outside of large city centers. That's where I think fueling stations like gas stations make more sense. A lot of my trips up through Utah, right, when I went to Bryce Canyon or up to Zion National Park or over through to the north rim of the Grand Canyon, I used a lot of gas station chargers. Utah has their UCARE program and they've been funding charge point chargers at Mavericks gas stations. And they're useful, but here's the thing. I worry about the speed of the chargers that are being installed because again, EVgo is talking about 50 to 100 kilowatt chargers. I think these chargers are very similar to the EVgo chargers that I used at their Whole Foods location in San Jose, where they're up to 200 amps. However, they're shared charging stalls. So if you are sharing with another vehicle, you're actually only going to get 100 amps. At that point, you'd be better off with a standalone 125 amp charger. So these are not necessarily fast chargers. And one of the issues I see with this is it feeds into some of the stigmas that we already see about electric vehicles, which is that they refuel slowly. And now you're putting them front and center at a gas station where someone that you would probably be trying to convert over to driving an electric vehicle, they're going to pull up and maybe a vehicle's already going to be there and charging. They're going to refuel their tank, maybe go in, grab a snack, use the bathroom. And by the time they're leaving, you're still going to be there charging. And it's going to build this perception of, oh yeah, these are really slow charging vehicles. Because frankly, gas stations are not a place that you want to spend more than 15 to 20 minutes. Now there are some travel centers where there's a lot of food options and things like that. In those cases, it makes more sense. But if we're talking about a very specific convenience store style gas station, we really don't need 50 to 100 kilowatt chargers. We need the 350 plus kilowatt chargers, the ones where faster charging EVs in the future will be in and out in the same amount of time as a gasoline powered car. Cars like the Porsche Taycan where it'll charge to 80% in 15 minutes. So essentially a driver will come in as they're paying for their gasoline at the pump. A Taycan driver pulls in, plugs into the charger and walks away. No activation, no nothing, plug and charge. They go in, use the bathroom, 
buy some snacks, come out with a drink. By the time that gasoline powered car driver is done actually holding a nozzle and fueling the tank and they go into the store to maybe use the bathroom and grab their own snacks. Well, that Porsche take on driver is already gone by the time that gasoline powered driver gets back to their car. And that is where you'll start to see things click. Or if something like that pulse charging technology that allows something like the Bolt EV to charge to full in 10 minutes. Well, when gas powered car drivers start seeing that happen, well, that's when they're going to start converting over. But if you have cars that are just whiling away for 30 minutes to an hour at a gas station, that's not going to win anybody over. So I think we do need to be aware of the stereotypes that we're feeding into by putting these slower chargers at gas stations. I think there's a lot to be said for gas station chargers, the locations, if they're along freeways, they're easy to access. I like the fact that Electrify America is building out along inner city corridors, but the problem is right now their first contract is with Walmart. Well, I mean, yeah, that's a great diverse stop. There's usually food courts nearby. Uh, there's a lot you can do in a Walmart, but it's a big, crowded, often busy parking lot. It's hard to get in and out of, and it's not ideal as a travel charger. So it would make more sense to me to put the 350 kilowatt chargers at gas stations and the 50 to 100 kilowatt chargers at something like a Walmart. But that's not the model we're seeing yet. And I think it's unfortunate. And again, with EVgo, it seems like they are primarily focusing on their urban market because they've already come out and stated that, hey, you know, we're uh, supporting primarily rideshare drivers. So we're going to build our chargers where those rideshare drivers are using them. I think there's limited usability for a gas station charger that's in a city itself. I would much rather see them at gas stations along interstate corridors nearby to restaurants where you know, you're not just stopping for fuel, you're stopping to have a meal. And again, a sit down restaurant, 50 to 100 kilowatt charger makes sense. Maybe not for a gas station. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, what do you think about this partnership with EVgo and Chevron? Where do you think it's going to head from here? When you stop at a gas station, how often do you typically spend there? Do you think a 50 to 100 kilowatt charger is appropriate? Or do you think we're going to need to add faster chargers for future vehicles? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And thank you for watching.